breaking news welcome to today's headlines oji kalu caused lock panther crisis by ceding area to fulani terrorist ipop speaks oji kalu caused lock panther crisis by ceding area to fulani terrorist IPOP speaks. So, my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has accused the Senate Chief Whip. Oji Uzokal of creating the current insecurity crisis in Long Pantaleria Lover Via State. IPOB alleged that Kalu ceded Lock Panther to Fulani terrorist when he was the governor of Abia State due to his presidential ambition. Emma Powerful The spokesman of Aripop said Kalu ceded the area to Fulani terrorists under the guise of Ruga program. The statement by Powerful However, said IPOB would recover Lock Panther from those calluciated the area to soon. According to Powerful, we, the global family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Ably led by the indefatigable liberator Mazi Unamdi Oku Chukukano, wished to tell in the Igbo that Oji Uzokalu created the current insecurity crisis along Lok Panta during his term in government in Abia State. Kalu out of desperation to become president of Nigeria, allocated Lock Panther to Fulani terrorists, masquerading as headsmen for Ruga. In the end, Fulanis deceived him, took over the URL and refused to give him the presidential ticket. Instead of a presidential ticket, they rewarded him with imprisonment. They freed him from prison to continue working for the Fulanization agenda in Abia State. Today, Oji Uzokal is flippantly talking to the public with different stories about Lock Panther. Oji Uzokalu ridiculed himself by saying that he gave Lock Panther to Fulanis for a venue generation. Abians should ask him to show them how much revenue Abia State has generated from Lock Panther. This gullible man forgot that Fulanis don't coexist with other ethnic groups. Request, rule and enslavement are in their DNA. Today, Lock Panther is a security risk not only to Labians, but to anyone plying that route where many have fallen victim to Fulani kidnapping and killing. Powerful said, 
the former governor has no right to secede Lock Panther to Fulani terrorist. Lock Panther is state land and Ojiuzo Kalu has no right to mortgage the Abian safety for his personal political interest. Therefore, IPOP has the responsibility to recover the land from where the Fulani terrorists are launching attacks on our people. Kalu can rant as much as he wants, but, he won't, but we must remain resilient to push the terrorists out of Long Panther because the rate of killing and kidnapping happening along that area is so alarming to the point our people are no longer traveling on that road. Kalu should stop deceiving the public and tell them the reason he gifted an Abia state land to Fulanis for Ruga without their consent, he added. The indigenous people of Biafra, Ipob has accused the Senate Chief Whip Oji Uzokalu of creating the current insecurity crisis in Lok Panta, area of Vabia State. Ipob alleged that Kalu ceded Lok Panta to Fulani terrorists when he was the governor of Vabia State due to his presidential ambition. Now I've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.